All right, guys. So from the time of this recording, I am currently top 300 in PvP. Now, I have a lot to discuss in today's video. The Ultra Madness, the top four units in order, and I'm going to specify in order of who I think is the best units in Dragon Ball Legends. Obviously, I'll be giving some reasons behind it, and obviously, I will also be giving guys some bonus units outside of that because besides these four units, there are some great phenomenal units i mean there are a lot of good units in dragon ball legends as of today and i also want to hear your guys's top four in the comment section down below so let's not waste any time and by the way if you guys do enjoy the video as always make sure you guys simply like and subscribe because why not it is for free so let's not waste any time man i just had some i today i literally played 100 matches that's why i'm making this video i i, I am appalled okay the best unit in the game right now is kid boo okay and it's it's insane how I want to say, I, I don't want to say, I, I want to be careful with my wording here, but it's not even, I, I was about to say, it's not even close that he's number one, but it is somewhat close. But this guy has a solid margin from number two, three, and four. I still think this character is the best character in the game right now. And he's the scariest character to fight in the game without a shadow doubt in my mind. I mean, honestly, this character right here, once you get the ball rolling with this character, once his unique gauge gets filled up, you know, long enough, this character is literally unstoppable. He does everything you absolutely need. He does a tremendous amount of damage, okay? His unique gauge fills up many, many times, as much times as you want, and then, you know, this guy tanks so much to the point where your unique gauge all of a sudden is filled up three times, and you have triple the card draw speed on command, okay? And... A lot of people forget that this unit's blue card also locks you in so twice so people get caught lacking 24 7 with this blue card and every time you use an arts card you get 10 percent to special move and ultimate move damage and key recovery for 10 timer counts so this guy gets triple card draw speed key recovery up to you know what it's it's insane how good he is. And by the way, I haven't even mentioned his green card. His green card. Boy, oh boy, his green card is so broken. Obviously, you get that cover null. But the fact that it's an AoE is just stupid. I mean, honestly, AoEs are probably one of the most... Green card AoEs are probably like... For example, Zenkai UI Goku just got a, um, a, a Zenkai buff, right? The purple one and his green card is AoE. And you get cover null off of that as well. So it's very easy to line if you strategize your way around it. And you get, you know, cover null. But then with this guy right here, right? It's it's unstoppable, man. It's literally, I, I want to say the word unstoppable. He is the best unit in the game by a good margin. And this is my personal opinion from me playing 100 matches today. I'm currently top 300. I'm going to take a break. And I know if I'm going to take a break, I'm going to fall off the top 1000 i'm just chasing that that brand new god rank um you know fifth anniversary uh god uh, title that you have to rank uh two times in a row god uh god rank which is pretty simple that, that's why i'm chasing now um these next three units and i won't mention a ton of other units but these next three units i want to say ultra rose and um tag goku and frieza now this one was close i was going to put tag goku and frieza on the second slot um but i gave it to a slight i mean like a hair a doll hair <laughs> slight margin for ultra rose and man the reason why is because ultra rose is an ooga booga unit but once again once you and, and to be honest you don't see ultra rose as much as you see you know goku and frieza right now in the top 1000 um obviously because they just got their buff and all and my dog bless you <laughs> my dog just needs in the background um, but this Ultra Rose does a tremendous, even with him out of the, uh, boost, you know, uh, system, but this guy does a tremendous amount of damage. And, um, you know, once you hit, once he hits you, you feel it. Like he's probably the hardest hitting unit in the game. Um, Kid Buu obviously has to get the ball rolling a little bit, but it's fine. But this character right, Kid Buu also tanks. That's why. But this character right here, probably, uh, you know, drawing two ultimates so easily. And it's just, it's so broken. And his blue card, Jesus, with his green card. And it's just nonstop assault with this guy, right? Now, this guy could tank better. And like I said, I would have put Goku and Frieza number two. And they could very much well deserve number two. It's just that 
Rose is so much easier to use than um, Goku Frieza. Now, Goku Frieza is easy to use, right? But the fact that, you know, you need a little bit of skill, like let's just say you go from Goku to, like you, you vanish with Goku, right? And then you, you land the combo, you keep going, then you switch to Frieza, now you get 70% of your vanish back, right? Now you gotta be a little bit skilled, drift back a little bit, time your blast armor strikes, just enough for you to get your vanish back and stuff like that. So you need a little bit more skill, but I would say this character at high amount of stars with a skilled player could be number two for sure. And um, yeah, it's it's this this character right here is scary. Like he can make a comeback in terms of just keeping that combo rolling. And and uh, like I said, if you're skilled enough to to keep switching back and forth with your vanish, drift back just enough. And yeah, this character is great. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that. He he's great. And Frieza's criticals is absolutely insane. So um, we still have a lot of characters to go through. So I'm I'm gonna try drifting through these pretty quickly. So um, Ultra hits. Now I've been running Ultra Kibu this season. And I want to say, thank God I don't run into that many Ultra Hits. Um, thankfully, thank God I don't, um, even though he's still very good. The reason why he's here is very self-explanatory. It's his time skip. Um, I would say this character has a Rising Rush on, on, on his hand, right? As soon as you land that time skip, which is very easy to land. You know, all you got to do is land a combo and then just pop that green card or switch and then just pop that green card. It's very, very easy to land it. You must be very bad to miss uh, your green card with this character right here and once you land it it's pretty much a rising rush right you could pretty much tko a majority of units i mean my kid boo's been tko'd full health by this guy and then i had to forfeit i mean because they caught me slipping there's nothing i can do right and then and then he has another rising rush on hand so and just the sheer amount of damage obviously right but it's mainly his time skip if you were if you were to strip away his time skip obviously you could say that about a lot of units but if you were to strip away this guy's time skip he would fall down dramatically so yeah i mean this this guy's got time skips <laughs> he's in my top four right now now i will say this there is a lot of good characters here that could very much well be you know up there in contention and just as good as these characters i would say so um, and we'll be going over that in just one bit. And by the way, I hope to God Vegito Blue for part three is not red because then that would be terrible for me as a region Ultra Kid Boo um, lover. So yeah, hopefully that's not the case. And by the way, we're going to get Super Saiyan Blue Shallow very soon. This upcoming weekly reset in just a few days, I think is going to be quite good. But this is not his video. Time to get to the characters, guys. So we've mentioned Kid Boo, We've mentioned Ultra Hit. We've mentioned Rose. Let's talk about Ultra Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta very, very quickly because he's obviously, an, you know, an honorable mention. So this character is still good. It's just that the way the meta is structured today um, with people nullifying, you know, his nullification to Rising Rushes and stuff like that. I mean, this character was really good because you're in Rising Rush and you can nullify somebody's endurance, right? Now, Kid Buu negates that. Android 17 negates that. And then Rising Rush is not as effective, I've noticed, right? We got Goku and Frieza, then it gets Rising Rushes. They're not as, eff as effective as of late, right? And there's a lot of pretty solid units, uh, yellow units, excuse me, such as Ultra Kid Buu. We got Gamma 1 and 2, which is really well done. I think they made this character so well done in terms of his kit and his animations combined. I haven't seen a character this well done in a very long time. By the way, we'll get we'll get to Orange Piccolo in just one bit, guys. But yeah, I mean, he definitely deserves an honorable mention. Uh, if you're smart, get your you your unique gay job, drift back, play it play it the smart, safe way. You know that boring, annoying passive vanish, uh, you know style. But yeah, this is an honorable mention. But we're gonna we're gonna skip through these pretty quickly now. Android 17. Okay. So this character is great, but I think he's I I think I'm starting to first see these. The first slight, um, by the way, I do have this character at grade 999, 999, 999 at three to four red stars. So he, he's stacked, okay, my team. Um, and I run him alongside Kid Buu. Um, his, his, his kit is really good to heal your, you know, uh, his kit in general is so valuable. But the issue that I have with his character is the fact that he can't tank. DB Zoom, DB Zoom, he, he can, what are you talking about? He can tank. Look at his unique gauge. It fills up and blah, blah, blah. No he, I promise you guys, I promise you, I have Z plus tier equipment all around in this character, good amount of stars, great 999, all, he cannot tank. As a matter of fact, I'm scared to leave him in. He's very untanky worthy and his unique gauge takes a quite a bit of hits to fill up 
and um, of course he has that you know endurance and nullification on uh, blat I mean um, ultimates and supers I get it but he cannot tank I'm telling you guys right now I don't care what anybody says in the comments section down below from my experience right now top 300 from the time of this recording he cannot tank that good does he have a great toolkit to help him tank yes but the character barebone cannot tank this is you just cannot tank I'll leave it at that because we got a lot of stuff to go through uh, Beast Gohan, we're seeing a somewhat of a play. I'm not, this character is not really, I'm not really fond of this character too much, but obviously once you get the ball rolling with his green cards and stuff like that, he'd be pretty nice. Now, I want to get to Pan because I've been seeing a lot of superhero versus superhero Pan. I've been seeing a lot, guys, a lot of superhero Pans um, with, you know, Goku and Frieza. The fact that you, you can obviously, you know, um, have color nullification and then you pop your your super or your main then then your super uh you have your you know an extra dragon ball and then goku frieza has an extra dragon ball i i can't tell you how many times people popped off rising rush in milliseconds of a match because of those combos goku frieza gets a dragon ball she gets a dragon ball everybody gets a dragon ball it's yeah and then obviously she she's red and she's good to counter ultra kid boo right now um her green card is annoying her, her, you know, support is is insane. Obviously, there's no. I'm not gonna touch on Pan too much, but in a yellows meta, she's great. Now, I want to talk about two characters really quick before we end this off. Uh, end off this video. By the way, I can mention a lot of characters here, a lot. Okay, um, Zamasu, great, amazing, right? I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, where is he? Where's my boy? Where is my boy? I can't find him. I can't find him. I think you guys know who I'm talking about, right? He's an anniversary unit, and I can't find him for some reason. He's all the way down here. I, I probably just skipped him. You guys are like, Dibby Zoom, you skipped him. Okay, I can't find him. Transforming Jiren. Where is he? Where is he? An absolute beast. An absolute beast, okay? The fact that he heals insanely. Oh, there he is. I skipped him like 10 times. <laughs> but the fact that he heals absolutely insane uh, amount of damage. He heals from, obviously, 10% um, uh, off of... X amount of times after he gets hit, and then he transforms, he he, uh, he heals, and then he pops his other main ability after transformation, he heals, and then he's just a tanky unit. By the way, I do have this character fully maxed out, grade 999 all the way around, or wait, grade 80, all the, which is technically maxed out all the way around, but his defense is probably the tankiest defense in the whole game. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that, because I, I don't want to make this video a bajillion years long. Um, he's great. Because I want to get to Piccolo, okay? Orange Piccolo, I want to say this. If you guys are subscribed to me, if you guys follow me all over social media, this was my number one unit to come out. I was like, I can't wait for the day I max out Orange Piccolo. And I went live and I wasted a lot of money to max this guy out at 14 stars. Now, my comments on this character, okay? I want to start off by saying this. The fact that he is orange piccolo the fact that he is an anniversary unit the fact that he is a legends limited unit i am very disappointed with this character and i'm about to make a very bold statement right now he is not a bad character he is a great character let me repeat that he is not a bad character he is a great character but i am disappointed with this character right here um, I would say pretty much every single main headliner anniversary unit is better than this character, um, except for Magenta and Nerd Gohan, right? So I would say Goku and Frieza is obviously better. Um, and of course, uh, I'm so sorry, uh, um, uh, you know, um, what's his name? Uh, uh, Carousel or Freak, what's his name? I'm blanking. Um, uh, car that, that freaking guy with the hat from the practice. I'm just blanking out, man. But uh, Gamma 1 and 2 is better than them. Um, the, basically, the main units, right? Even I would even go to say Kawei is kind of better than him as well. Like, she has more, I don't know, like, I see more Kawais. And she. And once you get the ball rolling with her green cards and stuff, I don't know, man. I don't know. This character right here is in a weird spot. I think they held back on him dramatically uh, just due to the fact that He's a revival unit, and I wish to God, and people are saying, uh, I'm about to say something, well, basically he can't tank, right? And that's because he's a revival unit. And you would think he could tank, like, yes, yes, he could tank when he's revived to a certain degree uh, because he has his unique gauge, but I've one-shot of this unit a bajillion times, okay? One-shotted, okay? His unique gauge needs to fill up many times, okay? That's number one. Number two, 
he's super slow. He's he, he gets a lot of green cards, so he's great with Kid Buu. Trust me, I've tested him out 14 stars alongside a 14-star Kid Buu on my own. He's great. That's a great thing. I'm not saying he's bad. I'm just saying for an Orange Pickle anniversary LF unit, he could have been better. Um, and this is me because I love the unit, so I'm holding back. This character does not have combo capacity. It's funny because when he comes in the field, he gets key back, but he doesn't get a card. And when you pop his green card, he gets card draw speed, but he does not get a card. He, he should come in. I think just the simple fact that if you were to switch two things with this character, which is once he comes in the field, he draws a card. And once he pops his green, he gets a card. And another thing is that his unit gauge should be filled up more than once, at least three times. That's my personal opinion. And sh and he should have uh, more of a combo destruction, maybe some key disturbances, like not like Zamasu, Blue Zamasu, but somewhat of a bootleg version of Zamasu or locking in blast cards, locking in strike cards to a certain degree for a two-timer count. Something with everything I just mentioned right now, this character would have been done perfectly, okay? This character is missing a lot of holes and in, in my personal opinion, I would even say he's going to fall off the top 10 very soon, okay? But yeah, guys, comment down below who is your guys' top four units. Um, these are my top four in order. Of course, uh, Ultra Rose could be switched for Goku and Frieza. I would say that though. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, as always, make sure you guys simply like and subscribe. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys once again on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.